This video is to show you how to take apart your AR drone 2.0 and also how to replace a central cross because if this is your first time inside the AR drone I can go ahead and tell you you're going to have to take apart the whole thing in order to replace that cross. In this video I'm not going to be using the standard yellow parrot uh, toolkit I'll be using the upgrade blue toolkit uh, you'll see it throughout the video. It's uh, got some more parts and stronger magnetic tips. Uh, here you can see me replacing, I'm sorry, uh, removing the C-clips. Uh, the C-clip tool works a little bit better than the C-clip tool in the official kit. Uh, next you're going to remove all your propellers. Once you got the C-clips off along with your gears and the shafts will pretty much fall right out. Then go ahead and flip over your drone here. Uh, use your Phillips, I'm sorry, a flathead, and you're just going to kind of use your thumb and then the flathead and just kind of push that little connector on the motor towards the body and just kind of wiggle it. It should come out pretty easy. I know my fingers are in the way, but uh, just push towards the body with the flathead bit and your thumb. And if you need uh, one of these blue repair kits, uh, I'll have a link in the description and also one towards the end of the video that uh, I sell these blue repair kits along with all the replacement parts and some other mods uh, for a discount, usually about 20% off. Uh, here you can see me unscrewing the top three screws. Uh, all these screws at the top of the central cross by the motor are the flat end screws. You'll want to keep those separate from your other screws because they're different from all the others. And uh, yeah, just go ahead and take them off. This has a pretty strong magnet tip, so you can see when you take them off, they'll stay stuck to the screwdriver. Usually, they won't go flying off like with the yellow repair kit. And I don't think you really need to see me doing all four, so I'll just do two here. You can probably figure out how to do the other two. And you'll go ahead and flip over your drone again. Uh, you'll use that same bit, it's the same uh, size, to go ahead and take off the sharp end screws on the bottom side of that uh, central cross by the motors. And uh, these are different again from those, uh, the ones on the top, so go ahead and keep them separate for when you have to put this back together. So once you've got those uh, bottom screws, just kind of, you're going to switch to the fat head bit. It's kind of a rounded thing. I have a little bit of trouble here. But uh, what you're going to do is you're going to take that bit, you're going to push down on the pinion gear uh, through that little hole. And this is very important or else you're going to get it stuck in that foot. Uh, take your index finger and just kind of uh, put pressure, push away from the body of the drone as you're pushing down uh, with the screwdriver push away from the body with your index finger to keep the bottom of that motor from getting stuck in the foot or else you're gonna have a lot of trouble getting it back out there and yeah just push it down and then kinda turn it so it'll fit out through that foot once you've done that uh, go ahead and switch bits here Nathan's coming around there with the camera and I'm going to go ahead and uh, take off the underplate there, just kind of, you can use a screwdriver, it's really easier just to use your fingers, it comes off pretty easy, you're not going to break that styrofoam body, don't worry about that. And uh, we're going to have to come in for a different angle here, a close up. Alright, uh, the first thing you go ahead and do is take off this real easy yellow one. That one comes off really easy, so we'll do that first. Next, you see this little black thing? Um, it's a little bit hard. Either use the 
a flathead bit or your thumbnails if you've got them grown out and just kind of push up there until it loosens you'll be able to tell when it's got loose it'll come about out about a centimeter or so there you can see it's loose it'll let that white cord with the blue tip come out and then go ahead and uh, unscrew these screws these are going to be the sharp end again so go ahead and put those back with your sharp end screws from before And it's really helpful to have this extra strong magnet screwdriver here. It keeps those screws from flying off or falling inside the drone, which is a real pain. Again, another plug for the blue repair kit. Sell it for about 13 bucks, uh, as opposed to that cheap yellow one which for some reason Parrot decides they're going to charge you 20 for it. Then switch bits. Um, these large screws here have a different head on them so go ahead and switch bits and I should have organized my bits before this because uh, here we go. I'm after three tries I finally find the bit that I want. Go ahead and take those large screws off of there. But don't take those, uh, whoopsie daisy, don't take those uh, big screws off farthest away from the camera right now we're gonna need those to keep the motherboard in place while we remove the navigation board otherwise you're gonna have you're gonna have a bad time so undo all those screws right there except for the ones farthest from the camera Now, you need to, it's kind of hard to see here, my hand's kind of in the way, uh, grab the sides of the navigation board, and there's a little piece right there, I'm pointing at it right there, it's like forks, you just got to pull it straight out so that they separate out from each other, yeah, just pull it out about a couple centimeters, and then pull out that white cord from what we loosened earlier, go ahead and put that aside, that's your navigation board. And then uh, take off that little styrofoam piece. It'll be stuck in there. You don't need that in your way. Go ahead and take out that. Uh, well, <clears throat> there's another video on YouTube by Tom Strong. He breaks this part. So uh, you don't want to break that or else you're going to have to buy a new $110 motherboard. Just lightly loosen that black piece with your flathead, and then that yellow thing will come right out. You'll be able to push it out just about a half a centimeter or something like that. See all three of these cords here are loose now. Take your flat head, just apply a little bit of pressure. It's just lightly glued, and that'll pop right off. No problem. Stronger than you might expect. And then we're going to need to switch back to this. Uh, other bit to take off these large screws. So the motherboard's going to come off next. There are three kind of screws, the big four big ones. 12 of the flat heads, and then 16 of the sharp end. Uh, I'm sorry, I said flat end, uh, 12, and then 16 sharp end. So keep all those separate, 32 screws total. Take that out of there. That's, uh, I don't know why they did this at Parrot, but in order to remove the motherboard, you got to cut just about a half inch right there. You'll be able to tell so there's plastic everywhere else. Just cut right there, about a half inch. Yeah, right there. And then uh, you're going to... That's going to allow you to loosen that. You're going to have to push the motherboard downward here in just a second. Once we get the two connectors from the central cross unplugged. And this is part is quite difficult um, if you don't have a flat head. So go ahead and grab your flat head. 
hand. First one comes out a little bit easier than the other one. Just kind of pry a little bit. It's got a little bit of a sticks out a little bit. Just push down. It'll come loose. And you can just get it with your fingers there. The other one's not quite as easy. You're gonna do the same thing. Separate the white from the black. I'll give you a better angle here in a second. You're gonna there you go. You're gonna just kind of push down firmly but gently until it loosens. You're gonna see it kind of pop loose here in just a second. There you go, it's loose. And then from there you can really just use your fingers. And that can be really difficult without a flathead. It's the most difficult part actually is removing that connector. Then you're just gonna push your battery connector to the motherboard and the USB, push them down through that hole we cut. And that's gonna allow you to remove your motherboard. There you go. Careful with that. It's a expensive piece of hardware right there. And then we're just about done here. Um, just remove those stickers. Just go ahead and peel them off with your fingers. Uh, you're not gonna hurt that main body. It's it's pretty strong when it comes to pulling this kind of stuff off. So just just pry it off. It's on there pretty good, but it'll come off. Just use your fingers. And uh, once you've got that off, uh, you're just going to be able to pull your central cross right out. And uh, again, I'm going to go ahead and link to uh, where I sell replacement parts, uh, this blue, tool blue toolkit, and some other mods uh, at a discount. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if this was helpful, I don't know, like me on Facebook or uh, subscribe to my videos because I'll have some other stuff up here in the near future. Thanks.